This is Champions by Sophia S. There is nothing on stage. Julian and Reagan enter from opposite sides of the stage with gaming headphones and remote controls. They sit on the floor facing the audience. A ding-like sound connects the two of them on voice chat. Oh, you're finally online. What have you been doing that's more important than me? Aha, very funny. For your information, I have a life other than playing video games, unlike some people I know. I feel like that was supposed to be offensive, but I'm going to let it slide just this once. I appreciate it. So what game are we playing today? You know, I heard about this new game that just came out. Everyone loves it so far. Sure. I'm down for whatever you want. Whoa. Whatever you want. You never let me decide what happened. Did you run into a wall? Or even better, I bet you got struck by lightning and now you have these superpowers and you're focused so much on learning how to control them that you can't decide what game you want to play. Here we go. Not only that, but you just found out that you're the chosen one and you have to complete the prophecy, saving the world from evil. Wow, I can't believe you figured it out. I guess that means I have to let you fight alongside me. Truly a dream come true. It really is. Okay, for real, I can tell when something is bothering you. Spit it out. I think you got just about everything. Dude, come on, you know you can tell me anything, right? That's just it. We've known each other for so long and I look at you as my sister, but I guess it bothers me a bit that I don't know anything about you outside of the online world, I mean. You're still on this? Don't you find it weird at all? Like, I know you about your family life. I know your favorite movies. I even know your school crushes. But I don't know your real name or the color of your hair, and you don't know mine. Don't you think that's strange? To be honest, it's never bothered me that much. Really? I believe that with online friendships, those service details don't matter. The way I look shouldn't change who I am to you, right? Right. There is an awkward moment of silence. Reagan sighs. I'm sorry. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but it is what I believe. It's okay. I shouldn't have said anything in the first place. Well, maybe... I should go. The ding follows immediately after Julian says his last line. Both Reagan and Julian sit for another moment, and they both walk off stage the same side they walked on. Reagan and Samantha are in Reagan's room. Reagan is on the computer at her desk, and Samantha is sitting on the bed with her phone in hand. Oh, I can't find anything. Still? I thought you had a million games you wanted to record. I do, but I don't have the money to buy them yet. The only game I could probably continue is Dark Knight. Poor Reagan. Seriously? Why can't you record something peaceful, like Animal Crossing? <laughs> My viewers love my horror playthroughs, Sam. Games, games like Animal Crossing aren't really the type of games I want to be posting on my channel. How about that game you wanted to try with that online boyfriend of yours? Um, I don't think so. Why not? It's more of a two-player game. So? So I'd need another person to play with me. Again? The game you wanted to try with your online boyfriend. First of all, he's not my boyfriend. Second, I don't think it's such a great idea for him to record with me. Why? Did something happen? Um, our last conversation didn't end well. Did he bring up that whole, I don't know who you really are thing again? Reagan just nods. You've known each other since forever. Why don't you just tell him? Whatever happened to don't trust strangers on the internet? It's not like you're revealing your address or credit card info. I have a following online, Samantha. If he knew my name, he could look me up and find that information. I can't so take can, that risk. So can everyone that follows you. To be fair, he does know a little bit more about me than my followers. Samantha's phone buzzes. Samantha starts typing. Who's that? Uh, it's that guy Julian uh, from the band. He's asking if we want to head over to work on a song. Right now? Yeah. He says he might have a tune already, and so we've got to go write the lyrics. Can't we just work on it later by ourselves? I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Come on, Reagan. This is the first time we're going to rehearse together as a band. The least we could do is go. Why do I even agree to join? I barely know him because you have an amazing voice and you can't spend the rest of your life behind a computer screen. Why not? Because 
there are real people in the real world. It's good for you to get off the computer every once in a while. Fine, I'm coming. Afterwards, though, you need to help me find a new game. It's a deal. Reagan and Samantha walk off stage. There is a couch on stage with a small table on the side. There is a notebook and a pencil on the table. Julian is sitting on the couch in his basement with a guitar. He strums some chords before Nico walks on stage with the backpack. Yo, Julian, I, I got your text. What's up? Hey, Nico. I think I've got something for a new song. Oh, really? That's great. I, let's hear it. Nico sits down next to Julian. Julian plays the same chord pattern from before. Ooh, it sounds good. Do you have lyrics yet? N not yet. I thought it would be best if I asked the girls to come over to help us with it. Oh, good call. When do you think they'll be here? Maybe a few minutes. I texted them about 10 minutes ago, so they should be close by now. I still can't believe you convinced them to join our band. You're like the girl whisperer. Nico, come on. No, no, I'm serious. First, you have that online girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend. She's yeah, just... Yeah, whatever. And now you've got these two working with us. It's sorcery. <laughs> I wouldn't call it sorcery. Well, I definitely would. Anyway, are you excited for our first band get-together? Yep. Super pumped. Uh, whoa, uh, not to sound super uh, psychic or anything, but I'm sensing you're not actually super pumped. Dude, you have a terrible poker face. I'm just worried, you know? Like, it's a new group, a new dynamic, plus we don't really know these girls. Really? That's what's worrying you? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to writing songs and music on my own. Like, it's gonna be completely different in a group. Different does not mean bad, though. Uh, who knows? Maybe you'll learn something from the newbies today. Yeah. Maybe. Just try to stay positive. The worst thing that could happen is it doesn't work out, then you go back to writing songs on your own. I guess you're right. Thanks, Nico. The doorbell rings. Oh, I got it. Nico runs off stage. Julian strums the guitar again. I'm positively sure we'll be all right. But not positive for each other, we're right. Julian stops strumming for a moment to think. We're perfectly imperfect. And it took us years to learn it. Julian stops to think for another moment. But the man I want to be, he's keeping you from me. Julian uses the notebook to write down the lyrics as Nico, Reagan, and Samantha walk on stage. And after my dad got me the drum set, he couldn't get me off of it. <laughs> How long ago was that? Just two years ago. Uh, Julian here, uh, he has been playing guitar a lot longer than me. I can imagine. Hey, Julian, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Everyone finds a seat on the couch or the floor as the next few lines are spoken. I'm great. I'm excited to work with you. Yeah, um, me too. How are you, Reagan? I'm okay. Uh, so, Julian, you have some chords already? Yeah. I was thinking if we could get some lyrics done today, we could knock out the rest of the song easily. So what kind of song should we go for? Actually, I thought of some lyrics while you were getting the door. I was thinking it could be a love song or a breakup song. Julian picks up the notebook. I'm positively sure we'll be all right, but not positive for each other, we're right. We're perfectly imperfect and it took us years to learn it, but the man I wanna be, he's keeping you from me. Dude, that's some deep stuff, I like it. Those lyrics are so sweet. I wouldn't call them sweet. It sounds like a breakup song. Well, it doesn't have to be a bitter breakup song. It could just be about two people going separate directions in life. And he still loves her, but he has to let her go. To me, it sounds like they were forcing the relationship, even though everyone knows they weren't meant for each other. Like Gail and Katniss. Excuse you, like Peta and Katniss? Gail was perfect for her. 
Um, Gail and Katniss could have legit been twins. Kind of gross, if you ask me. I didn't know you had such a strong opinion on this, Nico. Well, anyone with a refined taste like myself and my girl, Ray Ray. Not your girl. Uh, knows uh, that Peta and Katniss were in game. Can we get back to the song now? Right. The song. Fire away, Julianne. Okay. So the song is about letting go of each other. I'm sorry. You wrote three lines in two minutes and suddenly you're in charge? Reagan. I was the one who pulled the band together in the first place. And if we already have some lyrics, I think we should go with it. I thought you wanted us here so we could work on the song together. Reagan, calm down. I am calm. I'm just trying to understand the song Julian decided to write. I literally wrote three lines. Yeah, it's not like he wrote the whole entire song. He might as well, since he's the leader and all. Okay, Reagan, um, how about we go upstairs for a minute? Reagan storms off stage and Samantha follows her. Julian and Nico look at each other for a moment and Nico follows the girls off stage too. Reagan is upstairs in Julian's house. She is sitting down in a chair. Samantha walks into the room. I don't know what's up with you today, but there is no need to take it out on the band members. You say that like we've known them for years. We literally just met them today. That isn't an excuse, Reagan. Samantha sits <laughs> down with Reagan. What's going on? I don't want to be here. What do you mean? I thought you wanted to be a singer. Yeah, like four years ago. A lot has changed since then. <laughs> Clearly. It's just that I already have my passion. I know a lot of people don't accept it as a job or whatever. Because it's risky. <laughs> what if you lose your following? There's a million things that go into creating a game. It, it's risky, yeah, but it's just as risky as any type of music or art. I, I don't think music is for me anymore. I'm sorry to hear that. It's a shame that your voice isn't so- You know what? I don't want to hear it. I don't care if you think my decision is wrong. It's my decision and mine alone. Have fun with the band. I'll see you later. Reagan walks off stage. Samantha gets up to go after her, but she stops before she can go off stage. Nico walks on stage as Reagan leaves. Um, did she leave? Yep. And I don't think she's coming back. Oh, okay. Did we get back to writing then? I'll meet you downstairs. I just need a minute. Nico nods and he walks off stage. Samantha sits back down at the table. Julian is pacing the room, still heated from the argument. Nico walks on stage. They look at each other for a moment. Reagan left. Thought so. Samantha's still here? Yeah, uh, she's just cooling off. She should be down in a bit. Nico makes his way to the couch. Is Reagan always like that? Like what? Childish? I wouldn't know. Why would she join the band just to quit on the first day? Well, apparently, she was never interested in You the band. heard their conversation? Uh, yeah. Um, she went on and on about how singing isn't her passion anymore. And, and you won't believe this. How she wants to get into gaming. What, gaming? Samantha walks on stage as Nico speaks his next line. Yeah, she has a following online or something. She wants to continue with it. Like, good luck to her. Hey, guys. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm sure Reagan will come around once she realizes her potential. What do you mean? She's... <laughs> She doesn't know what she wants yet. She puts herself behind a computer all day long and refuses to even look in another direction. I had to force her to join the band. Wait, you forced her to join? Well, yeah, it was for her own good. Her eyes were about to fall out of her head when playing video games so much. Why would you force her to join when she wasn't interested in the first place? Like I've been saying, she's so disconnected from the real world. Doesn't she have followers online? I mean, yeah, but... So you're telling me she found her passion, actually got somewhere with it, and you take her away from it by forcing her to do something she doesn't like. I thought you were two best friends. You're supposed to support each other. I do. Look, I think it's best if you leave. 
We can work on the song another time. Samantha looks at Nico for him to, to back her up. The door is that way. Samantha storms off stage. Julian sits back down on the couch. You good, bro? Yeah. I just feel bad. You don't have to feel guilty. It wasn't your fault. I know, but I did add to the pressure. I should have listened instead of fighting with her. It wasn't very, like, it wasn't fair of me. Um, do you want me to stay? Uh, we don't have to work on music. We can hang out, watch some TV. That's all right. It's getting late anyways. We can hang out another time. Okay, if you're sure. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye, Nico. Nico walks off stage. Julian continues to sit on the couch for a moment before he also walks off stage in a hurry. Reagan is sitting on her bed in her room. Her gaming headset and controller is sitting on her desk. There's a knock on her door and Samantha walks on stage. Hey, your mom let me in. What do you want? To apologize. Oh, so you finally realize you've been a terrible friend? Okay, if you want to speak for me, go ahead. There's a moment of silence. Best friends are supposed to support each other, and I haven't been doing that. I know it's not an excuse, but I think I was just jealous of how easily you got your following. I, I haven't told you this yet, but I am proud of you for your following your dreams and actually making it. Thank you, Sam. I'm really, really sorry for how I've been treating you. I know. So, am I forgiven? I forgive you, but it's gonna take some time. Okay, I understand. Thank you for hearing me out. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. Good night. Samantha leaves, walking off stage the same side she came in. Reagan sits for a moment, then she grabs her gaming headset and walks off stage. The stage is clear. Reagan quickly walks on stage with her controller and headphones in hand, on the same side she was on the beginning scene. She puts on her headphones. The same ding sound signal she's online. Come on, come on, please be online. Reagan sees he's not online. At that moment, Julian walks on stage with his controller and headphones on the same side he was in the beginning scene. He puts on his headphones. The ding noise signals he's online. Reagan hears it. She's online. She's online. The ding's noise connects them on voice chat. Hey. I have blonde hair. Oh. Julian smiles to himself. Look, I'm sorry for the last way our conversation ended. I, I, I didn't mean hey. to. Hey, it's okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, too. I don't want to pressure you into telling me anything about yourself. I, I wanted to tell you. Or our friendship is important to me. Being online friends doesn't make it any less real to me. I actually think it's a lot more genuine than what I have outside of here, and I shouldn't have dismissed it. It's important to me, too. But it wasn't fair of me to use it to make you uncomfortable. You should tell me whenever you're ready. Thank you. I'm happy we're friends again. What? But we were always friends. It was just one fight. Right one fight. So, what do you want to play? You can choose today. I'm down with anything. If you insist. I actually heard about this new game. I think you'd really like it. It's called Champions. I've heard about it too. Everyone's been saying it's awesome. Great. Have you played it yet? No, it's a two-player game. I didn't want to play it without my best friend. Aw, how sweet. Shut up. They both laugh. <laughs> How about you tell me something about yourself while the game loads? Oh, okay. Well, I play guitar. Wow, I never pegged you for a guitar guy. Yeah, I've been playing for years. I actually started a band a little while ago. Really? Yeah. We got off to a rough start today, but I think we worked through it. Oh my gosh. What? Julian? End of play.